<laughs> What's up, Nabooers? I got some updates for Cloud CPM, um, as well as the Cloud GUI, and two new games that were created by one of our community members. So let's take a quick look. Uh, first thing I've done is in Cloud CPM, I've added a feature just called News. So when you're on the A drive, you can type in News to get the uh, RetroNet News that just pops up. If we switch over to User Area 1, load up Cloud GUI. I haven't had a lot of time to work on it in the last couple of days, so progress is not significant, but it's almost usable. We should be able to launch programs pretty soon. Let's take a little look. So first off, it loads really fast. It's not saving the drives like it was before, like the last drives you had open yet. Um, we can open new windows. We can go to File, New, and we can choose um, what drive we want to open and as well as the user area. So for example, we can open drive B, click open. And there we have it. So it's loading up. You can see it's counting also the number of files that's on the file system. And we have shortcuts too. So we can use like F to open the file menu, uh, C to close a window, hit F again, and you can see N to open this. And then I can use the arrow keys to navigate the drive left and right, and then up and down to choose the area. So we could choose user area, or A drive, user area zero, and hit enter. And you can see it incrementing as it loads the drive. The background moves, showing you that there's activity, and we get an hourglass for the cursor. Now, you may think that drive loading is a little slow right now, and you would be correct, because I'm actually loading the drive name as well as the uh, file size. So I'm gonna remove the file size as it loads and it's gonna be much, much quicker. So we can open a second drive here, file, new, and this time we'll open user area one on the A drive. And you can see, actually this window is opening behind that window for some reason. So I got a few little bugs I have to fix. There we go. So it should switch into the foreground before it loads. So you can see here that I can also navigate the files up and down. And I can't execute a file yet, but that'll be next. So we'll have edit for copy, T for tools, A for favorite, and then question mark for your help to show the version. So I'm pretty excited about this. The next thing is that we have a few new games that were created by a community member, Production Dave. So we'll go on the A drive, switch over to user area three, and in here we have Tetris and Snake. That's right, so Snake and Tetris. So let's take a look at that. We'll type in Tetris to load it up first. I was expecting the music to play for some reason. <laughs> Well, on uh, Nabu Lib, there is a Nabu Lib tracker, so we might be able to convince Production Dave to uh, <laughs> to add music to the uh, to Tetris. So, Dave, if you're on RetroNet chat and you want a, a little assistance using uh, the Nabu Lib uh, music creator, the tracker, let me know. Uh, okay, and next thing we have here is Snake. Let's load that up. This is a fun one. This is the first game that that David made. It's um, well, it's Snake. <laughs> As you can see here, we can use the joystick or we can use the greater than less than for left and right. And let's take a little look. Okay, don't judge my <laughs> my ability to play snake. Oh no, I went the wrong way! <laughs> Messes with your head thinking of what direction it needs to go. Let's try this again. Okay, I get it. I see, I see. Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> So, so I'm sure you could beat my high score of one. Many of you are probably waiting for me to go through the code of uh, Cloud GUI like I usually do to explain to you how everything works. And at this stage, like I said in my last video, it's not ready yet for me to show you things because if I did show you some stuff, you would laugh at it and say, oh my gosh, what are you doing? <laughs> so there's, uh, there's some things in here that really need to be uh, properly thought out. So let's uh, let's not dive into the code for <laughs> Cloud GUI just yet, but stay tuned because I'm pretty sure it won't be much longer for you to have a working version that you can launch applications from. Before I go, I'll leave you with one last video I think you should watch if you haven't seen it yet from our good friend Leo. He's created a fantastic video here called um, The Nabu Archaeology with Leo Part 7. And in this video, 
What Leo does is explain how the developer setup worked. And then he walks through one example project that has a code example of what they were, as a developer, they were given um, that said, if you can compile and write a program with this, you can write anything you want. And it's really great because there's M80 macros that do if conditions and while loops. Fantastic. So what he, is, he does in this video is he used Cloud CPM to, uh, to build a sample project using the original Nabu source library. And he's got it all up in his GitHub as well. So you could do the same thing. You can follow his instructions and go through it and you can build an, a little program. So the program he builds that he'll load up on the screen here is a funny artificial intelligence joke because the computer will guess what direction the stick is pointing if you move the joystick. <laughs> so kind of cute. But if you follow his uh, GitHub, which he has posted inside of the description right here. You'll be able to download his library, watch his video. I think it's great. I got a beautiful day out here, 10 degrees standing out here in the lake. So uh, spring is in the air, I gotta go. So I'll see you in the next video, Nabooers. Bye-bye.